Our work day is really the core element of the Fire Adapted Community Programme. Every neighbourhood that signs up must maintain a minimum of one work day a year. What does that consist of? It's you and your neighbours working together collectively to clear up around your homes. You are going to maintain your defensible space, you're going to look at home hardening aspects of your houses. Many of those activities are very simple. You're going to remove pine needles and cones from your roofs and gutters. You're going to ensure that you have a zero to five feet cleared around your house because it has been proven that if embers arrive at your house within that zone, if it is clear, the fire is very unlikely to ignite your house. These activities also can include home hardening. Home hardening is when you're actually beginning to make changes to your house. These can be super simple. For example, you can change out the vents from a quarter inch to an eight inch vent in your foundation to prevent embers going into the foundational area. There are three areas that we focus on when we're talking about defensible space. The main area that we really want to focus on is the zero to five foot zone, which is the non-combustible zone. Within that area, we want to see nothing flammable near the structure that could transmit fire to the structure or heat. So when we schedule work days or cleanup days, we coordinate with the local fire department and they'll bring out chipping crews and things like that to help gather all of the rubbish that have been collected around neighborhoods. We can get it to the curb, they can clean it up, and we can actually get those people that need extra assistance. They can reach out to us as, as the team leaders of the community and we can make sure that they have the, the help they need to get the debris up to the curbside for those chipping kind of days. And our workday considered of a huge collaborative process with a lot of the agencies. So we had the Zephyr Fire crew there to help support some of the people that couldn't get the work done either financially or physically. We had the chipping program. We had the Tahoe Resource Conservation District and the Fire District to really talk about what's defensible space, what's home hardening, and to help us out with that. Community events are any events where the community connects and provides an opportunity to engage and educate about wildfire preparedness. Meet neighbours, update contact lists, collect data for firewise, distribute educational information. Many neighbourhoods are also now incorporating a number of community events throughout the year. Halloween parades, 4th of July, barbecues and educational presentations. Tahoe RCD are now regional coordinators within the Tahoe Basin for the FireWise program. The next step in the process as a neighborhood leader was to get all this information together and to report to FireWise USA so that we could start the process with our certification. And the thing you have to remember is you're not doing this on your own. You are doing this with many resources. FireWise USA is a tool that we use within the Fire Adapted Communities program to assist neighborhoods in preparing for wildfire. This is a nationwide program which is recognized with an outline path to take proactive steps to protect homes and reduce wildfire risk. If you are interested in becoming FireWise, here are the steps. Step one, contact the outreach coordinator at Tahoe RCD. Step two, start talking and connecting with neighbors to create a committee of three plus people. Step three, create the boundary of your FireWise neighborhood. Step four, meet with Tahoe RCD to review the documentation and actions that you will take. Step five, set up an account on the NFPA portal. Step six, organize a meet and greet with your neighbors and our local fire districts to provide information on the FireWise process. Step seven, organize and run your very first workday. This will provide your yearly voluntary hours and monetary investments. All of this will be completed with the support of Tahoe RCD and fire districts. Step eight, submit your application. For more information on the FireWise process, go to www.nfpa.org and also to the website readyforwildfire.org slash preparefourwildfire slash firewise communities. The Tahoe Network of Fire Adapted Community Program was funded due to the Southern Nevada Public Land Management Act, which authorized the sale of BLM administered federal lands within a designated boundary in the Las Vegas Valley and require proceeds to be used in projects to fund federal, state and local projects that benefit communities and public land.